Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications so that you know when I upload a new video. I am so excited for today's video because I get a lot of questions about kind of my personal background, where I'm from, how many siblings I have, etc etc as well as my journey and how i got into acting and questions regarding that so i thought this video would be a really fun way for me to answer those questions for you guys and you to get to know me a little better in this video i am going to talk about how i got into acting my time working for disney and my passions and a little bit more about my personal background now i know what you guys are going to ask did I draw what we are about to see? And I did not, but I did write and narrate it so that you guys can get to know me a little better. Without further ado, this is Draw My Life. Hi, I'm Genevieve Fenelius. I am an actress, singer, and entrepreneur. I'm probably best known for starring on the three-time Emmy-nominated Disney Channel series, Dog With A Blog, which premiered in October, 2012. Ricky Fido. Starring Avery in all parts, take one. Hi, Tyler, you are back, and people will get to know the real you and see how fun you are. Yeah, man. It's so freaky having the brains of a dog. That is offensive on so many levels. I was born in Boston, Massachusetts, but I moved to a small town in Maine at the age of three. I'm the only child of my amazing parents, Carla and Eric. They are my support system and have always believed in me and been my cheerleaders. I got my start in acting by participating in local theater productions in Maine. At the Children's Theater of Maine, I got the part of Madeline when I was eight years old in Madeline's Rescue and Jenny in Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. Realizing my love for performing, my mom and dad made the decision to come out to Los Angeles for pilot season in what may have been the worst time in history to try and break into the entertainment business. During the 2008 Writers Guild of America strike. When they ask you years from now what it was we went on strike for, I want you to quote Robert Town. You say, the future, Mr. Gintz. Future. Upon arrival, despite the current conditions of the industry, I started to book projects right away. My first real job was a commercial for the Aquarium of the Pacific. The Aquarium of the Pacific and I are celebrating our 10th birthday. If you're born on the 10th, you'll get in for 10 bucks. 10 prizes will be given away every day. Soon after the commercial launched, I booked a series regular role on the Bob Saget series, Surviving Suburbia for ABC, filming 13 episodes in 2009. I'm happy to make your acquaintance. And then you said, I'm happy to make your acquaintance. And would you like to meet my daughter? <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked at him like this. Although Surviving Suburbia only lasted one season, it was such a fun experience and I knew I had been bit by the acting bug. After the series wrapped, I was discovered by a Disney Channel executive who saw me in the Aquarium of the Pacific commercial and sought me out for several projects in production over at Disney. Throughout the rest of 2009 to 2012, I had roles on many Disney Channel series, including Sunny with a Chance, Hannah Montana, I'm in the Band, and Good Luck Charlie, in addition to my role in the Disney Channel original movie, Den Brother, and Disney Channel's Leo Little's Big Show. I also lent my voice to several films over the last few years, working on Disney's Treasure Buddies and Spooky Buddies as the fun-loving golden retriever Rosebud, and The Search for Santa Paws and Santa Paws 2, The Santa Pups. From 2012 to 2015, I starred as Avery Jennings on the Disney Channel series Dog with a Blog. After Dog with a Blog ended, I attended high school and was cast in the critically acclaimed reboot of the landmark TV miniseries Roots, which aired in May 2016 on the History Channel. In 2017, I worked on the hit Netflix series American Vandal. I recently wrapped production on the independent thriller film titled Day 13 and the independent comedy feature Sid is Dead 
and the interactive TV series Timeline for the digital platform Echo. I'm also a beauty tech entrepreneur. I started my first company, Make Me Nails, in 2013 while I was filming Dog with a Vlog. I've had a love for nail art since I was 10 years old, and I would make nail art tutorials on YouTube for fun. Make Me Nails sold customized nail wraps direct to consumers globally, both through our app and our website. I was recognized for my entrepreneurial endeavors in Seventeen Magazine, Teen Vogue Magazine, Cosmopolitan Magazine, The Hollywood Reporter, and The Huffington Post. In June 2019, I launched my nail polish line, G Polish. In 2020, I started making lifestyle, fashion, and beauty videos on YouTube. I graduated high school in 2017 and pursued my dream to go to college. I currently attend college in New York while simultaneously pursuing all of my other interests. I'm currently a senior and I will graduate with a liberal arts degree in 2021. In my free time, I love writing songs, reading, watching movies, listening to podcasts, volunteering, creating YouTube videos, cooking, doing yoga, nail art, poetry, and painting. I enjoy being politically active and I'm very passionate about advocating for women's rights. Hope you enjoyed learning more about me and my life so far. So there you have it. That is a very brief overview of my life so far. And I have so much in store for you guys that I am really excited to share. I can't wait to continue acting and working on more fun and interesting projects, as well as all of the things that I have in the works for G Polish and continuing to expand the brand and bring products to you that I know you guys are going to love. So there's a lot to look forward to, and as difficult as the times are right now, I am very optimistic for the future, and I just feel really grateful that I've started YouTube, and I'm growing this community with you guys, and I'm so happy, and I feel so grateful that you guys are really enjoying the content. So please continue to let me know in the comments down below what types of videos you want to see. I know that YouTube is an incredible distraction and kind of nice escapism and I love YouTube for that reason and I want to continue making content that really puts a smile on your guys face and makes you happy. With that said, I also want to use this platform for good and I do feel that it's really important that I mention this video to please continue wearing a face mask when you are out walking around outside in public. The pandemic is still very real and even though places are reopening and it appears to be safer to go out and start doing things, I think we really need to keep in mind that just because places are opening up does not mean that it's safe to go out and you should really weigh the risk with the reward and ask yourself each time you're gonna do something, whether it's going to a restaurant, going shopping, is this necessary? And am I doing all that I can to protect myself and my loved ones and my community and everyone around me? So I just wanted to add that little message in because I think that we all kind of get caught up in our own stuff and we just sort of go into a trance and we forget that there is still a pandemic and that cases are rising. They're not falling. And I think we really need to keep that front and center in our minds right now. And I'm really just saying this because I need the reminder as much as I know a lot of other people do because we just sort of get lost in our day-to-day -day activities and we become a little bit numb to it. So this is your reminder for the day. Wear a mask. Please, please, please continue to be safe and cautious. There is light at the end of the tunnel, but we can't give up yet. We have to continue fighting and this isn't over. We haven't beaten COVID-19. It is actually winning right now in America. So let's continue the good fight. Let's continue to be kind to each other. And I really think just wearing a face mask is a sign of respect for other humans and that you care about other people as much as you care about yourself. So with that, I'm signing off and I hope you guys stay safe. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.